Huh. She's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to bro. Wake up. Okay, so stupid question. Mm. You're talking to her. You're repairing the remnant, right? Yes, repairing the, you're restoring the vest, you're restoring memories. Yeah. So, like, does everybody around you get pulled into whatever memory? I mean, that guy was, like, literally all the way down the hall from you. Yet somehow, oh, the top of my memories, they're bringing my ass over there. <laughs> I mean, or... I think the memories kind of get repaired because you have their code. Okay, so then all of a sudden so he's, the... like, just gets sucked into it, too, or something? I believe because you have their code, their blood, uh -huh. when you're restoring the memory, it kind of helps restore theirs. So they're coming <laughs> over to see what the hell happened. <laughs> so the guy's just standing there next to his motorcycle working on it. He decides to to pop the memory thing to repair it. <laughs> the other guy drops whatever tool is in his hand. His eyes roll in the back of his hand. And he starts foaming at the mouth as the memory's repaired. <laughs> and then afterwards, he runs over. What the hell is that? <laughs> I, think you're gonna, I think you probably just peeked the microphone oh, so many times. I apologize. I just, just a stupid thought entered my head, and I couldn't. I had to get it out. I had to share it with the world. <laughs> it's out there now. It belongs to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you think of my scenario? Just going along minding their own business. Oh, I'm going to repair this memory. Oh. <laughs> Think about when you've forgotten about something and then you remember it out of the blue and how you react to it. Yeah, you stop what you're doing. Yeah, you're like, oh, and then you go figure out what's going on. That's what I'm saying. The guy's working on I don't. His... I don't think he foams at the mouth and <laughs> stops. I just roll in the back of his head. <laughs> He's just standing there like, oh. He's standing there. The other guys start going around them, poking them. Are you okay? <laughs> So he snaps out uh, of it. You're dumb. <laughs> so if you're looking at this, oh. Carmela. What about Carmela? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mia and Nikolai are needing blood bead. Yeah. Carmela has some. She's one that sells stuff, right? She was the one that, what's it called, was one of Coco's clients that bought stuff off of her. Okay. So they're kind of, a connected. lot of people are connected. More than what they would think. Yeah, more than what they were, or more than what yeah. they remember, anyway. Yeah. So. I apologize if I ruined any touching moments there, but I just, I just had to get that out. It was just playing in my head like a little cartoon. You know what I mean? You know, adjust my microphone because it's slide. I it's mean, slipped. even even talking about, it, I can still picture the images in my head. And <laughs> Sorry if you're hearing a bunch of movement. Oh. Huh. <sighs> Okay, I think that made it better. Did it make it better? I don't know. Checking your settings. Well, don't worry about it. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm getting picked up. So fix it in post. <laughs> we'll fix it in post. <laughs> Just Photoshop it. <laughs> so that means you get. So if you repair all the memories, you get something special for them. Just all the abilities. The only memories you need to repair are the ones for the successors if you want the good ending. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you get the mediocre ending. Mm -hmm. And if you decide not to repair any of them. You get the bad ending? Yep. What's the bad ending? I don't remember. Did you get the bad ending? No, I got the good ending. Oh. <laughs> we don't want to go that one. Let's go to the good one. <laughs> no, I'm pro. Huh? But you get different blood codes though. But if you repair, don't repair? Really? Yeah. So I don't know what the other codes are. You know, I wonder if they're like more beneficial. Oh. If they help you out. This is my heart. This is Carmilla again. Mm -hmm. And this is part of Mia's memories. Hey, is the lady that's me. sitting down Carmilla? Or is that somebody else? Um, no, her name is Ava. Oh, that one's Ava? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? The throat of the queen or the breath of the queen or whatever? The one? No, no, no. The one no, that's no. all scarred up? Um, the, the one that dress? was traveling around with the with, with Jack. Jack. Yeah, that's Ava. Oh, okay. So, okay. So, who's Carmilla? Do you meet Carmilla? I don't remember. I don't think so. Is she fabulous? <laughs> Does she moonwalk? <laughs> you know what? Sure. Why not? <laughs> Does she have the sick beats and the sweet kicks? <laughs> like the laundry and the cooking and the cleaning. <laughs> So she seems like, what's it called? So 
God, what's that? Oh, her Lady Tremaine. You know who that is, right? No. Disney? Cinderella's evil stepmother? Oh. Her name is Lady Tremaine. That bitch is free. She has a pompadour, dude. Does she? She kind of does, doesn't she? I don't know if I'd call it a pompadour. It's more like a, like a hive, like a beehive or something. It's not like a beehive. It like comes forward and sleeps back. Yeah, it goes. Isn't that a pompadour? I don't know. I don't know if I'd call that a pompadour or not. <laughs> she, is she an anime villain? An anime delinquent? <laughs> is she an anime delinquent? <laughs> Because that's what they do. All the freaking delinquents wear a high school uniform have a pompadour if they're like supposed to be bullies and stuff. Not mom. Of mom corp. From Futurama. But she's not anime. She still has that little pompadour thing you're talking about. Yeah, she does, huh? See? <laughs> the pompadour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I honestly don't know what you would call that hairstyle. I, but I don't think it's a pompadour. It looks like a pompadour, dude. It's not a beehive, that's for sure. Beehive is totally different. Yeah, beehive comes up from the back, don't it? It's like uniformly shaped it's like a, all the way it's around. It's like a Marge Simpson thing. Kind of. I mean, Marge Simpson has like a high beehive. <laughs> high beehive. <laughs> oh. We're getting so off topic on this. <laughs> oh. And they don't really see what kind of hair Jafar has. You think he's bald? That's why, That's why he wears that little cap all the time or that turban or whatever it is. You were willing to reach out to me, a complete stranger. I mean, he has that no sick little deal. little chin strap beard thing. Yes, but that's what you Whoops. Need to do <laughs> what happened? No. I accidentally skipped uh, dialogue. Oh. But when I think of it, the reason that we lived the way we did. The I don't know if he would be bald. Was because of he pops it up as just a shiny that chrome that head or whatever else. You know what I think is pretty neat about those Disney villains and all that stuff like that? Hmm. Like the character, the person who actually plays them also does the singing for it. Not all of them. The majority of them. Like what's it called? Like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he sang the song You're Welcome. You have returned. He's evil in that one? But he's not evil. Well, I don't know. He's a demigod. He stole what's it called? The jewel of the ocean or something stupid like that. And that's why the ocean is becoming evil or something. <laughs> <laughs> Moana, Moana becomes evil. <laughs> what? I, said, I didn't think he was evil in that movie because he's featured on the... On Just because like, you're featured on the cover doesn't mean you're not evil. But he's prominent on the cover, that's the thing. Okay, so yeah, that's a good point. I would, I don't know. He's, he's selfish. Does that make him evil? This is uh, Carmilla's stuff. Okay, but who's Carmilla? With so much else occupied. The one that taught Mia and Nico uh, how to... Okay, but she's not in the actual world, right? This is just, she's just yeah, in the memories. memories right now. That's what, I was, that's what I was getting to. Oh, okay, I'm like... Yeah, you know, there's, there's the actual character in the bar. You know what I mean? This is our new home. There must be a reason for why we've returned as revenants. It's like, is she like a... Like runs a daycare or something? Not daycare, but an orphanage? I think she tries to come off as like this cold-hearted bitch, but she's really got a heart of gold type thing. Oh, okay. Kind of like how that guy looked up to Louie. Mm -hmm. She plays it off as a facade. Yeah. A facade. A facade. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? <laughs> so, speaking of uh, Disney characters and their clothes and all that other stuff, when you're talking about Jafar, yeah, that reminded me of this picture of Aladdin. Oh boy, <laughs> without pants. And so what they did, they just colored in like you know how he has the parachute pants, all fleshy colored, Ooh. and it looked very, very disturbing. Like he had like saggy legs, like you know the like he had like big old fat legs. Like, you, you remember the, the old like Inquirer stories about the six hundred pound fat man? Oh yeah, I remember those. It looks like he's wearing a fat suit or whatever. You know what I wonder. If Ha, ha, do you know if Weekly World News is still around? I don't know. We gotta go to a grocery store right now. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing those all the time. Weekly World News. Are, Isn't that with, Bat Boy? Yes, Bat Boy. <laughs> they had some of the stupidest stories. 
And I can't believe people actually bought these things to read. It's onion, dude. Literally, that's what it, what it turned into, I'm thinking, at some point. <laughs> oh, they had stupid story like Bat Boy gets married or whatever else. <laughs> Oh, anyway, <laughs> what are we talking about now? Aladdin's fleshy colored pants. Yeah, that that would be disgusting. <laughs> Even if I'm like, no. <laughs> I would like to try to find her. Oh, so is she still alive then? If, you happen to come if she's alive. I'd appreciate it if you Camilla. I really do want to know more about Camilla. <laughs> Did you know Camilla's name of what's it called? Gonzo's chicken. Yep, Gonzo's chicken girlfriend. What is Gonzo? Isn't he like a gook or something like that? Or I don't know what they I call don't him. know. <laughs> Gonzo. Yeah, I don't remember what they determined what his race was or whatever. If they ever determined him. Well, I wonder if he was some kind of alien or just like a figment of your med. What was that? Old book from Louis. For what? Just for whatever. So you got an old book from Louis? He gave me an old book. That's just a haze. Oh. Going to the outer crossroads? Why are we going there? Because I got old world material that I can use to pretty much grind out EO and. Uh, Am I gonna upgrade that one weapon? Stuff, and then I'm gonna go check what I can upgrade. Your new ninja, your new weapon that you got from the drunk, from Yakumo. <laughs> Yakko Wacko. <laughs> Good old Yakko Wacko. Argent Wolf brand. I don't remember if I had one of those long. That sounds like a brand of cigarettes, if you ask me. <laughs> I'm going to get some of them Wolf Brand cigarettes. I still don't understand load times on these machines, man. I mean, you install the game onto the hard drive. There should be no load times, right? You would think. It's just ridiculous. Greetings. Okay, so next time on Barops, we're going to have all our stuff in a row. Uh, next time on Barops, we'll have... Uh... Yeah, we'll have everything all ready, and we should be able to start at the City of Fire. Yay! City of Fire! 